Australia, a land of ragged mountains and of sweeping plains. It's also a land where you can drive for 17 hours and still not be anywhere near the other side of it. I know this to be true because I recently took my family on one such road trip and of course I visited as many craft, fabric and wool shops as I could find along the way. Hello lovelies, welcome to Amy of Melbourne, my name is Amy obviously and today I'm going to be taking you through my recent road trip from Melbourne all the way up to Brisbane in Queensland and back down again. This trip is obviously a family holiday but I also went to stores that sold fabric and sewing supplies and wool, all sorts of things. Unfortunately for my craft addiction, the trip started off a bit rough. We headed out on the weekend and by the time we got to any of the craft shops, they were all closed. Our trip started in Melbourne and we went up first to Gundagai. Gundagai is a lovely little town. They actually have several craft shops, but when I was there, they were all closed. So, bugger. Gundagai is famous for the dog on the tucker box, which is a really, really tiny little statue on the outskirts of town. But apart from that, it's also just a really great place to be. From there, we went up to Goulburn. We did not stay in Goulburn, but you can see the big merino and go inside it and look out its eyes. If you didn't know, Australia is actually a massive worldwide producer of wool, sheep, sheep related products of all kinds. It is said that Australia was founded on the back of a sheep. We continued our journey upwards, we went all the way through Sydney, out the other side to Newcastle. Newcastle was beautiful. Some of my favourite shops that went to for the entire trip were in Newcastle. The first was On Point Needlecraft and Patchwork, who have a huge range of quilting fabrics and needlework, as well as craft classes. Also, I went to the most amazing Miss Ali Jane's shop. I actually did an interview with Ali, but unfortunately, the audio didn't work out well. So you'll just have to listen to me tell you her message, which was that apart from her amazing fabrics, which come from Japan and they're incredible, she also has so many beautiful handmade things specifically and specially for travel. So please go in and check out her shop. It is absolutely gorgeous. It is a vibe. Ali herself is an absolute gem and everyone should go into the shop, even if it's just to have a chat with her. But you should also buy her stuff because they're all incredible. Dr. Carl's wife also buys fabric free shirts from here. So if you know who that is, then leave me a little science emoji down in the comments. Also zigzag where I found lots and lots of bag making things. They also had a huge amount of quilting products and sewing machines, embroidery threads. They're absolute experts in everything that they sell. So you should definitely check them out if you're heading through Newcastle. did a little stop in at a town called Tari on our way up north and there I got to stop in at the beautiful little craft cottage which sells a collection of different crafts made by all kinds of people from the community. This little craft collective had literally every single handmade thing you could ever dream up in the world and maybe some that you would never even seen in your nightmares. But it was great and I did buy a few things too. From Newcastle, we went to Coffs Harbour. Coffs Harbour is most well known for being the home of the Big Banana. You may have noticed that Australia likes some big things. We've seen several on this trip so far and there is plenty more. So if you ever come to Australia or if you're going on a road trip in Australia, look for the big things, they're pretty fun. After Coffs Harbour, we went up to Broad Beach, which is where we spent most of our time. Broad Beach didn't have a lot of craft shops, so I actually didn't do any shopping for crafty things on Broad Beach. I did do one extra little trip to a spotlight because I needed something uh, and it was a massive, amazing spotlight, but I only had five minutes, so I really didn't get much of a look at it. We did a day trip to Brisbane. The first shop that we stopped into on our Brisbane trip was the Quirky Quilting Co. I know it's a big call, but I think this may have been my absolute favourite place that we went to for the entire trip. Not just because of the taller pink stuff, but probably just because of the taller pink stuff. Um, it had the fabric store, and the fabric store actually had a big discount on, so I spent a lot. It was brilliant. 
The fabric store is a New Zealand store that actually specializes in dead stock fabrics. It also has a huge range of linen fabrics, specialty fabrics and merinos. That was it for the Queensland part of the trips. We came back down to New South Wales. We also stopped at Ballina. What's that? It's a giant prawn. Ballina is where I found this amazing fabric that I'm actually going to use for my frocktails dress this year. It was on clearance for $4 a metre, which was such a bargain. If you uh, have been to frocktails or are going to a frocktails anywhere in the world, let me know. What are you making? Stopped outside of Port Macquarie. Did not end up shopping at Port Macquarie for any kind of crafty stuff. Instead, we played football in the park. Go get it! Run, run! Country creations that we stopped in near Port Macquarie, that was gorgeous. What lovely people from their own home. So many jewel pink things. Um, I should have got more. I didn't. I was being good ish. Before we got to Sydney, we stopped into the lovely little town of Tookley. There I visited Set on Sewing and Craft, which was absolutely gorgeous. And I honestly spent a little bit too long in there. They had bag making, quilting, sewing, yarn. It was honestly heaven in there. Tickly also had a bargain fabric store, but I actually managed some self-restraint here. I literally don't have enough room in my car to buy anymore, so. After that, we went to Sydney. Sydney had heaps, of course, but it's also quite hard to get around, so we didn't see a lot of it. I did manage to get to the Cruel Goblin. They had everything that you could ever need for hand embroidery, stitching, cross-stitching projects ever in your entire life. It was stunning. My final stop in Sydney was Skeen Sisters. And honestly, I want this place down the road from my house because it was beautiful and cozy and it had every wool you could ever imagine. From Sydney, we went down again and we went to Canberra and Canberra had so many shops to see. I didn't even get to see all of them. The first one that I went to was the Crafty Frog. They had a little bit of absolutely everything from quilting to embroidery and yarn. They also had a lot of spinning supplies and also yarn dyeing supplies, which was fantastic because I hadn't seen that anywhere else on the trip so far. I also got to visit Weft and Warp. They specialize in garment fabrics, all kinds of special dead stocks and wools. They also have a heap of patterns that you can choose from. And then finally we came home. Thank you so much to all of the owners of all the craft stores and the fabric stores that I went to for allowing me to film inside of your stores and also for doing little interviews for those who did. Thank you so much. I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. I also want to say thank you to my family for putting up with me filming and going into so many craft stores and shopping and spending money. Love you guys. Of course, I'm going to put all of the information for every single craft shop that I went and saw on this trip down below. I've also got a full blog post of all of the craft shops that I had on my list to go to all the way up the East Coast, uh, Brisbane, right down to Melbourne, back up again, a little bit to the sides. You know, Australia is pretty big. It's hard to fit them all in one video, let alone one road trip. I thought you'd probably want to see what I actually bought on this road trip. And though for the sake of my sanity, I'm not going to tell you each individual item. I hope that you enjoy this lovely montage.
anyway, that's it for this video. So, uh, see you later.